Well, Daniel, here we are. The end of all things. How you feeling, I'm glad buddy? You're with me. I'm glad you're with me, Mike. <laughs> Welcome all to Monday Night Twitch. <laughs> the most special of Twitches possibly really you've is. ever had. I think you're right. Yeah. This just might be the finale of our Sega campaign. Just might be. Might be. We well, are... You know, I... hmm? Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish. And, uh, I had some thoughts. Okay. We are at okay. quest number 20? 20. Yeah. 20. Mount Doom. We're here. All right. Your thoughts. Well, neither of us have ever played it, right? No, never. We are complete noobs in this. Uh, we're, we'll thank in advance John in uh, chat, who often will remind us of the rules we conveniently overlook. Yep. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm really excited. But here's my one thought, Mike, and I just want to run something by you. All right. What if it will be okay to lose? Like, rather than, like, you know, resetting over and over. and Oh, my. Like, what if, like, this is how our story ends? If it ends that way. And so I thought maybe once we get past quest card one or two, what everyone makes most sense, like, like we say, like, all right, we're in it. And then if we fall, we fall. Bold words. I mean, I'm just trying to say what a hero might say. but That is know. what a hero might say. Part of me also wants to rip up that one ring card. No, I understand. But uh, you're right. There's there, there's canon. And there's what might have been. And there's what might have been. And so, I, you know, I'm curious what folks in the chat think about that idea. But I... I don't know. I was thinking about that today at school. And, uh, you know, all I do every day is teach basically storytelling over and over and narrative. I was like, you know what? It's okay to lose. We came pretty far. And I'm trying to think of all the... How many times did we reset and start over? A handful. Six, maybe? I mean... Seven, maybe? I don't know. Three on the Old Forest. Three on Helm's Deep. <laughs> Two on yeah, when, when we reset, field. we really reset. Yeah, yeah that's true. Um, but uh, like maybe only a handful of different quests required restart and restart. Right. So that's pretty cool. Well, let's have a look. So, so think about it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, another thing we thought we would do, Mike, is do usually we have the quest all set up before we start, but tonight we thought it would be a good idea to set up live because not a lot of people have been here yeah no not at all so and hope... who knows we could screw this part up too yeah so... oh yeah absolutely right. um <laughs> okay so i think to start i should probably go over the big rule in this quest please do uh the card i'm hovering over is orc hold it's got a symbol in the bottom left hand corner the lidless eye that is for fortitude tests and during a fortitude test, you discard any number of heroes to commit them to the test. You add up their willpower, and whatever the fortitude... Sorry, did you say discard heroes? Sorry, you exhaust heroes. Okay. You exhaust heroes. <laughs> like, There's oh a big God. difference. There's a big difference. <laughs> uh, let me see. And the, the value you are testing against is the tens digit of your threat. So I'm sitting here at 33 threat. If I did a fortitude test, I'd be testing against three. And that just means exhausting three heroes? Nope. It means you discard that many cards off the encounter deck. And if your willpower beats the number of eyeballs that appear, you win the test. If your willpower does. If your willpower does. And okay. I'm already seeing how much trouble I'm in. <laughs> uh, perhaps I should have mulligan for Protector of Lorien. Well, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, I think I understand, but we'll see. Yeah. So if it's, so right now I would flip two cards off of the encounter deck. Yeah. 
So you would, I you would, would need exhaust to have a heroes willpower first. more than the eyeballs, or a willpower more than the threat on eyeball cards? The eyeballs themselves. Oh. Don't well, say that, that because easy. we are in dire. Well, I understand, but... All right. Yeah. <laughs> So unexpected courage on Awin is what I hear you saying. That's that's what I'm thinking. And yes, John, thank you. Uh oh, what do we already miss? No. Nope. <laughs> He's reminding us there's an action window that opens up after those cards are revealed. So if we have fun things like Elrond's Council. If, if we can pump up so, okay, yeah. great. And can we tie or we gotta be bigger? We gotta be bigger. Alright. Well, should we Mike, can I read you a story? You can read me a story. All right. It's not going to be a, quite a story yet. It's going to be the setup card <laughs> for Mount Doom. All right. So, The Lord of the Rings, Part 18, Mount Doom. Setup. Each player may change heroes he controls without incurring the plus one threat penalty. Place wow. X resource tokens on this card, where X is the number of resource tokens on the black gate, as recorded Seven. in the campaign log. Remove each burden with the following burden. Okay. Forced. At the end of the round, remove one resource from this card then if there are no we lose so we lasted seven which the pundits thought was okay indeed okay so i do not flip this card yet or maybe ever i don't know all right the land of mordor mount doom quest 1a you ready yep against all odds the ring bearer has found his way into the black land of Mordor, but a dangerous journey still lies before him, and the eye of Sauron yet searches for the spies who escaped from Kirith Ungol. Whew. All right, Mike, you can go re ahead and read setup. Ha 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 ha. Make sure we all have it here. Setup. Actually, before we do that, oh. I want to give the designers the middle finger and put 12 damage on one of those Wraithon wings. Thanks for letting us get. Me. Thanks for letting us get rid of one of those, Caleb. <laughs> uh, because we defeated one at the Black Gate. There he is. You see the twelve on it? I do. Get rid of it. Good. It's gone. gone. All right. Uh, now tell me the setup. Small, <laughs> small victories. Okay, you got? add Mount. What we got, Doom. brother? Mount Doom and the Tower of Baradur to the staging area. Done. Break of Thorns is the active locations. Yep. And each player searches the encounter deck for a different location and adds it to the staging area. And you shuffle the encounter okay. deck. So we have Orc Hold, Mordor Road, the Plain of Gorgoroth, the Break of Thorns, and the Old Water Course. Okay, so let's see what we're doing here. Tower Barador. Players do not raise their threat at the end of the refresh phase. Instead, at the end of the round, each player raises his threat by one for each non fellowship character he controls okay, okay. Gotcha. gotcha now doom immune to player card effects x is the tens digit of the first player's threat dial the players cannot travel here until there's at least 20 progress on 3b on and, 3b yeah okay and each player makes a fortitude test to travel here if the player fails you he raises his threat by nine notice however that doesn't mean they don't go there that thank goodness Thank goodness. All right, so... So knowing that, let's see. Active location gives us orcs engaged with the first player. Oof. Um, I might actually choose Break of Thorns, because it seems we want to get that out early, right? Based on its forced effect. Oh, when it becomes the active, not when it's explored. Okay, maybe not then. Ooh, adding a penalty to each fortitude test, hey? And that stacks. Uh, ooh. ooh. I think we're going to need the old water course for later. I think so. So. Let's do that. You want to bring it out now? Or I thought we'd shuffle it back in. Well, it's only two threat as well. That's not bad. Yeah. And it doesn't do anything bad just being here whereas i'm looking at some of these other things yeah, that do you're nasty right, you're things right. to us ah um let's let's choose plane of gorgoroth and the old water course all right 
You just have to promise me you won't fail a fortitude test anytime soon. Uh, who does that? I'm probably first player, right? Yes. Okay, hold on. Let me get things all shuffled up here. Oh, ha-ha! Right, ha 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 We only have five cards in our opening hand. Why? Because Gandalf's delay is back. Okay. We still have Grievous um, Wound, Overcome by Grief, and a Heavy Burden should be on the Ring Bearer. Does it have to be? Oh, oh yeah. That's permanent. That's a permanent. Uh, All right, let's bearer. remind the viewers what a Heavy Burden does. At the end of the punning phase, either raise each player's threat by one or exhaust the Ring Bearer. Just raised by one every time because damn, we got 99 threat to play with. All, All right. right, so we can exhaust the one ring to add a resource to a hero's pool. And I'm willing. And exhaust Frodo, just the one ring. Just okay. the ring. Okay. Um, that's a trap, isn't it? I think probably. Oh boy, we got lots of stuff here. Uh, okay. Just looking at the chat. Oh boy, there's a few asterisk victories with Mount Doom. Yep. Break of Thorns starting as active means you start off with its forced effect. No. No. Really? No. No. We refuse. This is sleazy mode. All right, I'm going to read card 1B. Are you ready, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, well, we'll rules lawyer that one later. Go ahead. All right. 1B. Frodo and Sam gazed out in mingled loathing and wonder on this hateful land. Between them and the smoking mountain, and about it north and south, all seemed ruinous and dead. A desert burned and choked. All right. So 12 quest points. All right. And what a delightful little forest effect there, too. The first treasure revealed each quest phase is immune to player card effects. And gain Surge. I think this game is hard. Uh, yeah, I think so, I'm too. just going to go out on a limb. Let's control N. Oof. Okay. All right, so you have our Mr. Frodo. Frodo! All right. Now, I do have Power of Orthanc in my hand. Get rid of a Heavy Burden right now. I would, uh, I would wait on that. Yeah, I know. We need to get someone a grievous wound, or I heard I've heard it said that there's evil stuff in this deck, so maybe we should see what that is before mm. we pull the trigger on that. All Although right. I do Pretty have right. a bulwark of the west for when I get a cheap ally. But yes, I am. Okay. Ready. Okay. So, Mike, I'm raising a glass to you. <laughs> this has been a wonderful campaign. It has. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me. Wouldn't do it with anybody uh, else, man. All right, dude. Thank you. So, two total dollars. We get Legolas' his knife and Baragon his shield. That's a good start. That is a good start. I don't know if we're ever fighting anything, but I suspect we are. Well, it it's occurred to me that, that Wraith on Wings might not be as far away as it once was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're in dire. <laughs> Okay, All I'm right. going to... I am done, yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Toss a Veteran Sword Elf for money on Gildor. Spend two for a Steward of Gondor. Exhaust it. And why did I do that? I should have actually ditched my Elven Light, doy. Uh, spend two for Unexpected Courage. Which I'm... An Eowyn? Or I mean Arwen. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Well, you know what? <laughs> it's going to go on Arwen. Because I was I... thinking maybe putting it on Eowyn, and I'll send one back to you when I can. Who's, I mean, who's making these fortitude tests? Is it whoever draws the card? Kind yes, of thing? Yes, it is, actually. So it kind of okay. depends. Um, yeah. Eventually, I want, I get Light of Valinor on Elrond. Right. But I'm just thinking, defending. like, hmm. what have you got? 
All I've got is four willpower. Are we going to go to... We're thinking of... Mm, okay, you get it. Are you sure? I mean, I'm not... No, you have the higher willpower right now. All right. You can first one I get will go on Arwen. Okay. Um, but I'm going to pull back my Elven Light. Ooh, I like that. There's seven thread in the middle right now, by the way. All right. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, the chat room says exhausting the ring can be bad. Well, what do they know? <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Here we go. Excited? I am. I am. Okay. So, uh, what's Frodo doing? Um, Frodo. Oh, we've got the planning phase here, don't we? Yeah. Um, I think we need him to quest. Okay, we raise each other, each player step by one. Yep. So. Do you want to tap him for me? Yeah. Are you a steward of Gondor yet? Oh, man. All right. I am, but the wrong... Oh, yeah, I am. Oh. Arwen is. Oh, good. Then I get plus one. Yeah, I, cha I changed up the strategy this time. So oh, the question I'm bringing, is... I'm bringing seven. And I'm bringing six. So... Ooh. Is this a bad idea or not? Ooh. What are you what are you conflicted about? Sending Elrond or not? Um we're at we, we got is seven right now. We have seven rounds to to get through this. Okay, you know what? There. Lumbus. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I mean <laughs> we need to really go. Uh, All right, let's okay. do it. Okay, so the first card, don't forget our treachery joy. <laughs> My card is an orc captain. Okay. He seems to be something of a jerk. Oh. And oh look a treachery. Oh. Each player must choose. Either discard a questing character you control or raise it by one for each question. I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the second one. And that, of course, surges, doesn't it? It sure does. Because would you agree, Mike, that that's the first we've seen? That is the first. How about a big Uruk? Oh. He's big. Fantastic. But, Mike, we win by four. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So... One, two, three, four. The break of thorns goes away, and now it's time to travel. Well, we can't do the old water course, because I have no heroes standing. Well, I was thinking we might go to the plane. Yeah. That means right, you're so doing... I'll stand up, Awen. Uh, Hang on. This is an extra threat, because you're now at 30. Oh, then we just don't have that. Thank you. Well, not thank you, but you know what I mean. Yep. Wait, how did I get that extra threat? Uh, I mean. By questing with people. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. All right. So, I say we go to the plane. So, my fortitude test is pitch three cards, right? Uh, you have to exhaust somebody first. Yep, so exhaust it's only anyone. heroes. Okay. So that's a... F Wait, that's a four, right? Yep. Yeah. You're at a the four. fortitude test is I reveal three cards because my ten digits is three, right? Yeah, you discard three. Okay. I count... Five! Five. All right, so I raise my threat by four. And well, we still travel I now. raise my threat by four. Oops. Um, that was okay. If that's what we can expect from those cards, <laughs> I need another glass of wine. So Holy. seriously, yeah. Those were like double little circles on those. Yep. Oh my 
God. All right. Well, now we know. So right. it is very real that that Wraith on Wings is coming down next turn. Well, he's coming down right now, Mike. Oh. If you don't mind. Oh, well, by all means, take him. Okay. So I will take him. He will get a shadow card. Baragon will defend that. Sucks. Is that a scoop? Oh, hold on. Oh, can I retcon a little bit and do something I actually meant to do? Sure. Which was this. Oh, because you I saved it. I just, yeah. I saved it on purpose. Did you need his attack? No. Oh, I think I did need it. That's why I was doing it. I might not, actually. Maybe I just don't want to scoop. <laughs> All right. Welcome to so, Mount Doom. Okay. Here's our one little retcon. There's my one mulligan for the night. Okay. All right. So he takes no damage. I'll reduce my threat. I'll defend again. Uh, you cannot de reduce your threat. Oh, I can't? wait. We can, but it's the only time you can reduce your threat this turn. Okay. All right. So there you have it. Okay. I feel a cheaty, but not that bad, just so you know. Okay, Mike, I am going to activate Eowyn Superpower. One, two, three. She is at 10. Legolas is plus one, oh, for yeah. he is attacking with a Rohan-traded person. So 14, Pierce 2, victory display. Boom. Is the chat mad at me? I hope not. Let's see what the chat says. After Black Gate, doesn't it feel amazing to be only revealing two encounter cards? <laughs> <laughs> uh, three, but yes. It, it will probably be three all the time. All right. I think we're at control end, so I'm going to drop a Mount Doom there. Oof. So now, when you control N, you're then going to add... Oh, yeah, threat. So one threat's got to go. So, well, sure, just add two. I'm going to add two threat. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Not good at all. Okay. All right. Uh, Mike, I'll be right back. Hey, all right, well, he's away. I'll tell you what I'm thinking. La. But of course, that's going to wait because I don't want to be him sitting here raising my threat every turn. So let's put a protector of Lorien out. Let's draw a card. <gasps> Life is good. Life is good. All right. Life is good. Look what I drew. It is? Oh. Okay. So, uh, pitching a dollar for Arwen and drawing back Elven Light. Okay. Oh, my. Oh, my. My problem is I have nothing to do. What do you need? I owe myself a dollar from a quest last turn. I have a gift for you. Hmm. I'm going to draw two cards. All right. Uh, uh, great. Are you done? Uh, we get to choose two things. Let's see. I think I might... So I choose a player to draw two, two, parts, two cards. That's you. And I will add two resources to a hero's pool. That'll be me. Okay. Are you done? I am done. Okay. Oh, this goes to the victory display. I'll spend one. Oh my! So he is not Gondor, He's but not Gondor that's okay. Anymore, but you know, an extra defense doesn't hurt anybody. Certainly not. All right. Naturally, these Uruks are tougher than they need to be. 
and I didn't draw my weapons, and I can't straight shot. Mm. All right. I'm done. All right. That's a lot of hit points that I can't weather. And the big orc's <laughs> coming down. He I can is, defend, huh? but I can't de hit I can defend. That for that much. I can defend for you, and I've got ranged. I mean, it's, it's what it is, man. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I'm only bringing five. We're up against two, five, seven, eleven. Oh, um, ugh. What? Heavy burden. Hmm. Razor threat? Doesn't change your tens digit. Yep, let's do it. So you're bringing what? 11. Eleven. We're only up five before cards. Oh my. All right. Well, your card. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, well, have fun. So that's a four, hey? Three, four. Spend a dollar. Pull it back. You ready for your cards? Five. Spend a dollar. Pull it back. Six. Spend a dollar. Pull it back. Now you could have done this after seeing the cards, right? Good point, but I'm going to do it anyways, because okay. he maintains his willpower for the phase. Okay, I think you did it. That's two, just and two. I had a six. six. Okay. So that happened. That's the first treachery card, so it surges in two. Okay, we're now adding to each fortitude test. And three more. And then my card is another one of these. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. So I'm counting us as up three. Uh, I'm at 14 now. Yep. And that's 19 to 16. We're still only up. Jeez. Oh, we need one more somehow. Sorry, I got no tricks today. How can we get it? I don't think we can. That is crippling. Indeed. And we got to make it in seven rounds? Yeah. All right. How on earth is anyone supposed to do this? Indeed, we've said that before. We have. A question all true heroes will ask from time to time, I think. Um, all right, so the big Uruks are coming down. Yep, guess I'm taking one of them. I will, I will obviously take one. So we have to raise our threat by four. It makes an immediate attack. Well, I'm raising by four. I'm raising by four. And okay. I'm pitching Lombus. Okay. Well, that's a zero, thank goodness. Okay. It's a bounce, right? Oh, I would have gotten rid of it anyway with forewarned. All oh, right. Um. Oh. Those are all. Oh yeah, that's that's not good. Can I get rid of leader of men? Nope. It's permanent. Hmm. I feel like it's got to be the blade. John says that it might be the end of the game since we didn't get out in two rounds. Yeah, I think he's right. That's a huge amount of willpower you got to muster. Yeah. Um. Okay. I took no damage, however. So I will reduce my threat. I suppose shooting arrows your way does nothing, huh? Uh, not anymore. Nope. 
All right. This will be the one time I'll allow us to reset if you want, Mike. Hmm. Let's go through one more round and see how far we get. Yeah. Or at least one more questing. I want to see what else this is going to do. Oh, man. Now I get the Mirkwood. Marksman of Lorien, rather. Oh. gone well with my blade got any more conies <laughs> uh, I'm done planning um drawing a card oh I have to raise my threat for controlling characters oh me too I now have three extra, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, man, this is rough. I don't want to bring out allies. No, right? I mean, they're kind of core to your concept a little bit. I am pitching this for Elrond. Yeah. Okay, well, let's uh, let's get out of here uh, in one raise round. Raise your threat by one. Oh, okay. I'm bringing seven. Let's see. Lee of Nimrodel doesn't do a whole lot for me at the moment. All right, let's see what happens. Hold on, three, six, eight, twelve. So we're up four before cards. Oh, this is a five. It's first player, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Nice. All right, my card is a plane of Gorgoroth. We've seen that before. Your card is. All right. That's a one. So it gets it's a one. We won by one. This has an extra threat on it. Oh. Really? Yep. Then we tied. All right. Uh, Lay of Nimmerdell for plus three. And, plus three? Yep. And okay. tossing one, two, three to Protector of Lorien, which gives me an making sweet pass by six. So you're up by six, which gives us then five. 20... Yep. We're up by seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So uh, did we get really hosed in staging? Or is it just really this crazy? I think it might just be this hard. We just uh, don't have... I mean, these are bigger monsters than I expected we'd see, too. Um, okay, so this monster is not coming down, the orc captain. But we got to go bad. somewhere. Um, should we go to the break? Um, that would kill me because I don't have healing. Hmm. Well, maybe, uh, maybe I'll do the plane again. Oh, but then the orc captain comes down. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Now you can make fortitude test. Well, I know, but the last time I tried that. Yeah. You know what? You're right. Brick right. of Thorns. It's got to be Brick of Thorns. Are you sure? Well, that adding one failure to every fortitude test. What about the old water course, finally? Uh, we have to exhaust a hero. I can, but you can't. No. Nope. Dang. All right. Break it is. Ford, 
four damage. Five for me. Good God. Well. All right. One, two, three. I will take both Overcome by Grief and Grievous okay. Wound. Okay, so now remind me to do us two after combat. Do us two after combat? Yep. For what? I'm going to Power of War thing. While okay. we both have a condition. Okay. So we'll get rid of a heavy burden and then one of your two. Okay. All right. I'm defending. Ugh. That is just killer. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. Um, I'll have Awen defend. <laughs> it does destroy <laughs> Awen. Hmm. Oh. that card. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Whoa! And it looks like we had a heroic reset from Mike. All right. All right. Um, so this is it. Yep. That's the... Uh... Um... So here, if if it doesn't go down, down. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel bad about taking a bunch of mulligans, by the way. Did you not take Andrew? I can't remember. I did take Andrew in the end. All right, everybody. Um, you may have noticed that we've reset. And we also don't feel particularly bad about it, I don't believe. Do we? Huh. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Oh, Lord. That was really awful. It's more I'm not sure what... I just don't quest for enough. Ooh. You know? I'm not sure who does quest enough. Oh, what do I... What, what do I even want to see in my opening hand? I'm asking you, what do I want to see? Um, I don't know, but I also realized my sideboard has Sam in it. Oh, you should put Sam in there. I definitely should put Sam in there. Should I do Frodo's Intuition? No. Oh, and fun. we have that bloody Gandalf's delay. Yeah. Hmm. An early Andril would be interesting. Dude, you might you might want to put these in your deck. I'll leave them out there for you to think about. Uh potentially, yes. Right? Like that doesn't do a lot for me. Well, oh, each hero gets plus one. That's each something. hero, and you send everybody. Yeah. Good point. Makes more sense than in my deck, right? So. All right. Let's. Uh... So remember to draw five, right? Let's take these veterans out of my deck then.
<laughs> you said we don't care about 150 mulligans? Oh, definitely not. Okay. Fellowship, no allies in either deck. Ah. <sighs> Okay, I'll just keep I'll keep my fourth mulligan. Artillery gun. Uh, visibility, everybody. All right, it's an all right hand, I guess. This is all right too. Again, no early light of Eleanor, but maybe I'll get lucky. Right. I can. I think I can kill. Uh, there's a heavy burden somewhere in the encounter deck that we need to pull out. Okay. What if we don't really want it? Tough beans. All right, so we've done all of our reading and all that kind of jazz, right? Whew, we have. Uh, I think we were probably right about... about the locations we chose? The locations. Plain of Gorgoth was the other one, right? Yeah. All right, brother. Uh, these two cards? Okay. Um, hold on a sec. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I'm trying to think of something else I was supposed to do. Raise the threat by two because I already did that. Uh, uh, Mount Doom is right now two, four, six, seven threat in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a blade? Hmm. Sadly, no. I have a bow. You, we're going to need that. We're going to need that. Hmm. All right. I am tossing an ally for money. I don't know why this card is in my deck. Do you? Whoa. I don't... Th I think That's, that is not supposed to be there. not be there. I don't... Yeah. I'm going to get rid of that and redraw. All right. Yeah. Sorry, fans, but that one really should not be there. All right, steward. Oh, good. And protector. Uh, how are we going to get rid of this Wraith on Wings? Um... think I can do it? Like I'll also be hitting him for 5, 15. I will be... I can get him. Okay. Are we ready to play ball? Yep. Are we raising our threat for Frodo? I think we have to. Okay. Alright. Frodo's are a heavy burden, for God's sake. Alright. Just I throw am. them in Mountain Dew. Yeah. I'm done planning. Me too. Legolas has a bow. Whoop. Okay. You're done? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Mike. <laughs> Can you drop Frodo for me? I'm bringing seven. Okay, first card. All right. Attach heavy and tired to the hero with the most attachments. And exhaust that hero. I guess that's Elrond. Wow. 
Counts the conditions that says hero cannot commit to fortitude tests. After you fail a fortitude test, exhaust attached hero, discard each non-objective attachment on it. Okay. Okay, that would be uh, the one well, we're getting rid of. Yep. I got I got me old or think. All right. Okay. Next card is Doom Two. Okay. Doom Two just made that go higher. I can get rid of this. <sighs> it slows down unexpected courage coming. I lose uh or think. <gasps> we can test it will that. That's what I just said. Oh yeah. I just said it slows down unexpected courage is all. Right. So yeah. Uh... I think we can deal with another card. Uh, well, I don't... I lose Anduril. And that's... Each player must choose. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I feel like, on the one hand, I could... I'm just going to do it. Okay. I think we need speed. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we, we have win... one more card. Oh, that was the surge, wasn't it? That was the surge on it. Oh my goodness! Still you? No, it's limit one for hero. All right. Uh, Legolas. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna put it on Awen. Because if Legolas exhausts right now, I can't kill the wraith. Oh, you're right. All right. So we win by eight. Oh, let's flip that, the card. What card? The uh, quest card. Oh, yep. Yeah. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's better than the first turn. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Okay. All right. Now we don't have unexpected courage, so I don't know that we should do the plains of Gorgoroth because I could only send Baragond. <laughs> right, and I can't send any. We can't go to World Old Water Course because I don't have a hero standing. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, it's a problem. Okay. Are you ready? I will draw down the monster. And I will faint him. Ooh. All right. So he is not doing that horrible thing. Ah. Yeah. So I will... One, two, three. Ready, Eowyn. 10, 15, 16. Oh, wow. Yeah, that does it. I needed Baragond. Whew. Now, Doom 2, Mike. Let's get rid of these things. Gone. Roto can keep his heavy burden. I really wish we could have traveled somewhere, but... Well, that was that. That was that. Okay. All right, we uh, we survived. I need to take a... There we go. Come on, good draw, good draw. So Not a good by draw. two. Okay. You have Frodo now? I do have Frodo now. One, okay. two. Oh. oh, I'm owed a dollar. Questing successfully. Okay. You said you've got an unexpected courage coming next round, right? I do. Then. Uh... Why don't you take it this turn? Yes. Because I you're am. going to be doing the fortitude test. 
drawing a card. Good. Would love to see your light of Eleanor, son. Me too. Me too. Ditching a card for money. Two. I don't want to put it on Elrond. Well, ultimately, he's as good as Eowyn, or as Arwen, rather, right? No, but if I... I want to be able to put it on more, have more than one hero ready. To do no, these four two but... tests. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's me. Okay. I'm giving Legolas another bow. Until he finds a sword. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So he could be attacking for seven somewhere. That's good. We're going to need that. Yep. yep. Uh, that's me done. Uh, Mount Doom is threat four, right? Yes. Okay. Four, eight in the middle. Okay. All right. I'm bringing Awen. Oh, are we raising our threat by one for Frodo? Yeah. Might as well. You're so far away from five that... Okay. Yep. All right. I'm bringing Ready? 15. 15? How? Frodo's intuition. Oh, you put it in. <laughs> and I, I've used it. Brilliant. Okay, right. let's get the hell out of here. Your card. Another plane of Gorgoth for two. My card, of course. I'll do that. I'll raise my threat by one. Four. And that surges, of course, into Wicked Man. Oh, I don't know that one. What? Oh, Gollum's now in play with me. Huh. Where's Gollum? He's in the encounter deck somewhere, apparently. All right, so he doesn't attack you, but he... Well, so much for going out. to the plane of Gorgoroth. Um, I am. There he is. After Gollum is discarded during a fortitude test, put him into play and gauge his first player. Then choose an encounter card discarded for this test and ignore its threat icons. Oh, cool. I love his uh, threat cost. Yeah. So, can Legolas kill him? Yeah. Because those aren't player well, cards he's immune to, right? Before we do that... <laughs> so we won handily. Um, oh, I forgot to put my thread up here. 5, 20 to 10. Alright. How does that make you feel? Mm, like I should have held back and traveled. But that's fine. We get out of quest stage 1. Well, remember, I can defend Gollum. Oh, yeah. So let's go to plane. If he attacks again, then we're then that's bad. Although he doesn't hit very hard. Yeah, that's true. Okay, we're going to a plane of Gorgoroth. Oh wait, before we do that, we have to advance. Oh, we do, don't we? Yeah, because we kick butt. Can I read you a new story? Yes, you can. The road to Eisenmuth. They had gone some miles, and the road was at last running down a long slope into the plane. When Frodo's strength began to give out and his will wavered, he lurched and stumbled. Desperately, Sam tried to help him and hold him up. Dire, when revealed, search the encounter deck, discard pile, and victory display for Mordor Road and add it to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into it and travel there. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, well, should I get it out of the deck or discard? What is your philosophy on that, Mike? It doesn't matter, because we're shuffling. But it really doesn't matter. But in general, pile. what is your... If it's not a shuffle thing, do you... If it's a location, 
it depends on what we have going on. And I'm I'm of the opinion at the moment that I'd rather deal with locations than enemies. You could travel there immediately, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> or both happen. Okay. Uh, so hang on. Before that happens. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got a little snuffler. Yeah. Either raise it by one for each ally control or discard an ally. I'll raise my. Uh, I am unaffected by the little snuffler. Uh, it doesn't get revealed; just added. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Shuffle the encounter, discard pile. Oh, okay. So we should have already done. All right. Now we go to two B. What? That's not it. Hold on a sec. I wonder if there's not any progress on it. Uh-huh. That's why it automatically did that. Okay. After placing progress here from questing successfully, each player makes a fortitude test. If a player passes this test, he places a resource here. If a player fails, he discards cards on the top of the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded and puts it into play engage with him. At the end of the quest phase, if the number of resources here is equal to or greater than the number of players, advance to stage 3A. So quest successfully twice. No, quest successfully once. And both of us... Pass the fortitude. Pass the fortitude test. Okay. Right? That's, I guess how I... Yep, yeah, that's how I read it. Whew. All right, what was it about 3A? Something happens at 3. Uh... Oh, Mud Doom we can travel to. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. There are some monsters to deal with. Yes, and I'd be grateful if we could kill mine if we're going to be doing fortitude tests. <laughs> All right. So here's what's going to happen. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. I will take Little Snuffler. Okay. We'll reveal Shadow Cards. Then I will... Can I Hands Upon the Bow Golem? Nope, because he's, he's not in the staging area. Oh. Oh, right. Well, I could have done it to this cat before, right? Yes. And then... He's such a little weeny weasel. Yeah, and then you wouldn't be killing Gollum. All right. So I guess you'll have to defend Gollum. Yeah, I'll defend Gollum. Okay, so he comes down to me. All right. It's too bad I can't forewarn him. Ha! Ha 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 ha! ha. Take that. Okay. Okay. I owe myself a dollar. Oh, I won't miss ill fate. I'll lower my threat. That's right. Um, I'm going to shoot Gollum in the face. Kaboom. And he's not... Notice... Yeah. Notice he's not a victory display. He is not. Well. There you have it. <laughs> You can, um, for a fortitude test, do any number of heroes, right? Yeah, that's got to be heroes. But any number of them. Any number. Okay. Um, Even Frodo. Lose, lose a resource. We're ready for next round. Lose a resource? Oh, on uh, Mount Doom. Oh, yeah. Raise your threat for, you know, being you. One, two, three. Just, just living. Okay. Let's draw a card. That's not what I'm looking for. Two, four, six. Ten threat in the middle. All right. Oh, you're going to like I'll this play. I'll spend a dollar. I'll put the blade on him and pitch a bow. Five pierce two is my favorite. Nice. The last. Um, I'll spend two. I'm actually going to put the courage on Eowyn. Is that all right? Oh, yeah. Okay. You need it. Yep. I know I, you wanted it on Arwen as well, but I think that's the best move. I've got more in here. 
All right, I am. You said I'm gonna love this play. Let's let's see it, brother. Ba -ba -bum. Uh, do we need a resource on Frodo at the moment? Oh no, I, I can't steal from him. Uh, I will just steal from Elrond. And then, Bulwark of the West. There goes our heavy burden. Okay. It just goes discard, right? Oh, I said that. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah, no, he's right. He's right. Heavy burden is Who's permanent. He? John. So we can't get rid of it? We can't get rid of it. And you know what? I'm going to keep that because uh, we are going to need it for when I... you just recycled the encounter deck. So those nasty cards that can come out. Okay, sorry, folks. It's all better now. We got it. Thank you, and thank you, John. Okay. And Jarrell. Okay. Oh, boy. I've kind of got all my eggs in the Elrond basket right now, and that's I not that. sitting well with me. Uh, let's pull okay. a card back. And ditch a card to Arwen. All right. Whew. All right, as in you're ready? I'm all ready now. Okay. Ten in the middle. I'm bringing Awen for five. Should we bring Frodo? You're I think I'm not Frodo? going to bring him. Right. Good idea. Because I want to pass this fortitude test with two heroes. Okay. Is that fair? That is fair. All right. I am at 10 to start. Okay. 10 to start. So we're up five only. We also don't have that hideous treachery thing anymore. So this is just only one. That's um, you. Can I? Oh, I meant to do this. Hold on a sec. Well, you, we have an action window. You can do it. Can I fail it? You can. You raise your threat by 10. That's fine. But, I mean, is that great? But I can purposely fail it, right? I don't have to do anybody. Uh... Let's see. Just a second here. Sure. Oh, yeah. Two progress on the active location for killing something with Legolas. Yep. I was just thinking about that. Uh, right. Let's see. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Didn't need, we didn't need whoever that was. <laughs> that was Dennison and John. They did that. Yeah. Uh, but okay. thanks. Thanks, Dennison and John. Um, yeah, you can if you want. All right, I'm going to fail this. Okay. All right, so that's going to put me at 53. Which puts, which puts Mount, Mount Doom. Doom. All right, so we're at 11. So, the reason I'm doing that is because I still think we're going to quest successfully, and I want to make that fortitude test. All right. Because so, this thing that adds two, that's terrible. Five cards. All right. You still have to what do about five cards? Well, you still do the fortitude test. You just don't commit anybody. Oh, I see. So it's... discard five cards. Well, it's actually four cards, because I haven't lost it yet. Right? Yeah, true. Okay. I would have lost it. Yeah. All right. And now our second card is the Orc Hold. What does it do? Well, Orc Hold is in the staging area. Progress cannot be placed on other locations in the staging area. I am okay with that one. Okay. Um, we're up one. One? Yep. Okay, hang on, we're still all right. Really wanted a monster to show up there. Oh, I didn't want a monster to show up. Well, I would have hands upon the boat it. Ah. Okay, Six. so. All right. Well. We're up by one, so I will pull back an Elven Light. Oh, man, bad timing for long defeat because we're totally going to get rid of this. 
Uh, pitching one, two, pulling back. That's all we need. An Elven Light. And pitching another one for three. Okay. We don't need that other one if you don't want to pitch it. Oh, you're right. So. Okay. Okay, so we're out of Mortar Road. All right. After placing... Pro oh, we do need one. Do we? After, after placing progress here from questing successfully. Okay. So we needed three. Yep. Um, if a player passes a test, he places a resource here. All right. So I will do the first one, right? Yes. Okay. I'm committing. Can you tap Frodo for me? Six. Dude, I might just bring Legolas. No, I've got some help for you if you need it. Really? Interesting. Six. All right, so I'm revealing five cards in this test. Okay. I think I did it. You did it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So I am sending seven, and I get four cards. One, two, three, four. That's it. Okay. And that is another resource. So, I think we're out. Uh, at the end of the quest phase, if the number of resources here is equal to or greater than the number of players, advance to 3A. We are out. Okay, hold on a sec. I need to, I just need to catch my breath. Okay. 3A, the last gasp. The last stage of their journey to Ordruin came. And it was a torment greater than Sam had ever thought that he could bear. He was in pain, so parched that he could no longer swallow even a mouthful of food. Okay? How do you feel about that? Yeah. <laughs> when revealed, can you read all, read all that? Cause I had all somewhere. right. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Discards cards right. from the top until X locations are discarded, where X is the number of players in the game. At each location, discard it this way to the staging area. <laughs> I like what I'm seeing. All right, first off, let me just. We might be recycling the deck really quickly. What the heck? Okay, so we got a break of thorns. Let me clean this up a bit. Okay. The Nork hold. Jeez. Let me uh, clean up the staging area real quick for us. Okay. Does that look about right to you? Yeah. We got a lot of stuff there. Not sure why those went in there. Okay. Mike, would you do me a huge favor and uh, total up the threat yeah. in the staging area? 20. Here's where it gets dire, I suspect. Okay. I'm going to flip 3A to 3B. Oh, hang on. We f you failed a fortitude test. Who did? You did. Last. I did? So uh, here, I'll run to council. Okay. Oh, that, was, that would have been enough, would it? What is, why are you saying this? What did I miss? Um, Plains of Gorgoroth should have gotten harder. Oh, I see. Here, uh, I'll, I'll toss this. Okay. Yeah. I think we're even then. All right. We needed four more threat to do all that. Did you get us four more? 
Oh. I got us three more. I couldn't have done the fourth. Well, we're just going to have to say that's okay. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, asterisk. Didn't, didn't they already say that every win of this is an asterisk? Pretty much. Um, actually, they never caught okay. that one. I did. Dang, Mike. Yeah. All right. Um, so here's the 3B of the last gasp. Dire, the first treachery. Oh. We're back to that. At the beginning of the quest phase, phase the first player makes a fortitude test. If it fails it, no more than five progress can be placed here this round. Oh, lordy. At this stage, can't be defeated unless Mount Doom is the active location. Oh, okay. it just has to be there. Well, there's still a quest card for. Okay. Where are we headed? Uh... So what do we got? We've got 19 cards, and so many bad things just came out, so I don't want to go to Orc Hold. You know? Break of Thorns is pretty ugly. Yeah, Whoever gets that is getting a grievous wound. eliminates my whole team. I think that just stays there forever. Orc Hold staying there. Planes to go over Roth. We're not... Can't do it. Well, we can. Can't do the old, can't do the old water course. Fail a fortitude test. Well, that's me, right? Yeah. I'll go. And failing it? Yep. Raise my threat by four. I'll raise well, my I threat do, by four. I do, well, hold on. I do five cards, right? Yep. Good on you. Good on uh, you. I will accept that. Okay. So uh, now 18 threat in the middle. All right. There's a dude to deal with. Paragond. Bounce. I'll reduce my threat. And Legolas will just kill murder. him dead. Which then puts two progress on the plane. How do you feel? Oof. I don't know, man. Wait a minute. Before you did that, do you need money? Uh, I can always use money. All right. Well, during the... Um... Oh, never mind. <gasps> do you have Frodo? I have Frodo now. Oh, I just had Sam. I know. I know. I saw. That's perfect, though. He'll be, he'll be with us at the end of all things. Oh, that's awesome. Well, raise your threat by three, and I raise mine by two. So, Light of Valinor came out. Wait, is that even true anymore? Oh, yeah, it is. Power. Oh, good. Because, you know. Because you're already halfway through your deck? Ooh. That makes sense. Yeah, it means I'm not defending anything. Well, you have unexpected courage on Elrond. Mm -hmm. You quest with that, right? Yeah. But, uh... Oh, yeah, this is going to be rough. It is, because I still only quest for five. Okay, you're drawing a card. Want a shield? Don't you want a shield? Oh, I don't have one yet. That makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> I always assume I have one. All right. All right. I'm, uh... Oh, my. I could throw out a Gandalf. I could throw out... I could bring Gandalf out. We, we could use this questing. What would you do with him? Draw? Draw. Because I can't reduce my threat. Okay. One, two, 
three, four, five. Gandalf, drawing three cards. Hehe, <laughs> hehe, What would you like? Cards. What would you like? Uh, yeah, you get to draw two cards. Okay. And I will add two resources. What a lovely card that is. What a great time to find Bofer. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> All right, our friends are trying to help us, Mike. <laughs> All right. Wonderful. So as long as All we right. su quest successfully, Bofer stays in your hand. Yep. All right. But if we lose, he's there forever. Uh, yeah. I'd rather he was in my hand. <laughs> um, so check the chat. Did we miss anything? Is anything need to? So far, so good. Okay. So far, so good. So, uh, are you finished planning? I am, sir. Then, at the beginning of the quest phase, I have to make a fortitude test. Oh, yeah, Light of Valinor and Arwen sucks for this. Well, do you want to put it back on Elrond? Uh... Well, here's the thing. Let's be honest. Are we going to make more than five anyway? Maybe. Really? Because we were down two from the plane of Gorgoth. So I'm just curious. Like, We're already down two? No, I mean, like, the plane, oh, like, we, we owe, like, we can make seven. Well, let's uh, raise our threat by one for Frodo. I can potentially do some amazing stuff, although I think I might want to save it for the end. Okay. So, I will... Yeah, i got to put on Elrond. Oh, that hurts. So Elrond's oh. making a fortitude test? Elrond's making the fortitude test. Okay. Um, and right. that's five cards, ready? It's five cards. So Gollum's out, so he's discarded during a fortitude test. Put him to play with me, then choose an encounter card, discard it, and ignore its icons. So we ignore one of them. Okay, so either way, and, we won that test. Uh, there, the test was a two, because we had one copy of Break of Thorns. Okay, so we won it. We won. Thanks, Gollum. All right. Gollum's kind of a putz. All right, are you ready? Yeah, I'm hoping you can defend him. Yeah, we'll see. All right, quest. <laughs> I'll bring five, which I appreciate is not a lot. I'm bringing 16. Okay, we're only up three. <laughs> I know. All right. Your card. Uh-oh. My card. Um. <laughs> I guess he just sort of whiffs. Yeah, and he surges. He does surge, however. Oh, and this is going to surge, too. All right. First player must choose either exhaust one ring of veal and a counter card, discard cards, at the top till enemy is discarded. Um, wow. So, what are the things that the bad things for cards? So, we you realize we reveal we're going to reveal like six cards this turn. Yep. Um, do the second one. Yeah, I have to. Uh, hopefully Legolas will deal with the enemy. Oh, it goes into play engage with you. Yeah. All right. Um, then Legolas can't help you as much. Uh, is Exhausting the Wandering going to be evil? Probably. Okay. And All we right. and we reveal an encounter guard. 
And it surges. It surges because that was the first treachery. Treachery, right? Okay, that was brutal. Just a little bit. Okay, so hold on a sec. I'm going to play one for Hands Upon the Bow, which will give you six Pierce 2 on the big Uruk, which will kill it. Nice. Which will get us out of the plane of Gorgoroth. So how much did we win by? We have lost so far by six. We've lost by six. Mm -hmm. Now we've lost by five. Pulling back my... I just don't understand what we're supposed to do with all these locations, dude. Ooh. Oh, I owe this, sadly. Whoops, wrong one. Pulling back. Pitching. All right. Oh, wait. Bofer. We're down by two. two. Bofer's another two. So we tie it. Which means Bofer stays in play, right? I can Courage Awakened. Seems like we're going to need that card for later, though. Courage Awakened? Yeah. Yeah, I don't play. All right, so we're tied. Oh my okay. gosh. And that was with Gandalf on the table. Yeah, Bofer is, uh, stays on. We are in trouble. All right, so the little snuffler is coming down. Yep, and uh, I can't defend anybody. Um... We're going to have to get lucky. I can defend Gollum, actually. You can? I can. Um, I was kind of hoping to travel somewhere. Oh, let's travel. Well, that's going to require me exhausting Arwen. Oh. Unless you go to another plane of Gorgoroth and don't worry about failing it. Should we do that? Oh, boy. We can't go to the old water course, sadly. Okay. Uh, no, we are going to... I mean, yeah. I Even if I wanted to exhaust Arwen, I'd never pass that. Well, not with that attitude. Five cards with three? No, it'd be bad. I mean, I might, but yeah. Okay, let's discard five cards. Go to Plane of Gorgoroth. Okay. Oh, yeah, because we, we had two failures to this right off the yeah, bat. Two Break of Thorns, yep. I think we know where this is headed, my friend. Uh, unless we go to Break of Thorns. Okay. Uh, let me think about that, because I have I would have healing coming out next turn, but it's only each player signs X so five. Oh, I'll my. take five. I've got Bofer. Oh yeah, you could easily kill three. I'll take five. You take six. It's yours, right? Oh, it depends. Okay, yeah, I'll take six. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I will take the oh, Grievous Wound. Okay, go ahead and pull it over. We still have an awful lot in the uh, middle. Oh, I know. Uh, I think that might have been our turning point maybe all those locations i don't know what we're supposed to do about that because uh, we can't yeah you know like that's just anyway 
Your defense. Uh, Arwen. Cool. Nothing. Uh, no, that ain't happening. Oh, you're my hero. Okay. Well, there we go. In the middle now, we have six, eight, <laughs> 17, 20, 22. We have 22 in the middle. Uh huh. Oh yeah, I do control Gandalf still. You're End of round. Good point. I do control Gandalf. I forget why that matters. Because I could damage him with Break of Thorns. Oh okay. Oh shit! And sadly, Gollum hurts Arwen then. No, he doesn't. Yeah, his shadow was plus one for every ally you have. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. All right. Pull off a resource. Oop. Okay, I got another unexpected courage. Where should it go? Hmm. Oh, I can't pay for it. So do I bring out Sam? I mean, oh, Bofor is better. Bofor is about the same as Sam, ultimately. Right? Yeah. So. I'll wait. Well, I have to spend... Give a dollar to Elrond for healing. So heal one of your characters. Uh, I'll just heal up my glass. Card. All right, Mike, keep talking. This isn't good TV. Mm, okay. Uh, thinking, thinking, <laughs> thinking. Talk to folks what, uh, through what you're doing. Ah, you're I don't know what What's I'm going doing. What's going on in your mind? Um, Arwen What's doesn't have enough mind? money. I'm thinking, how the heck are we going to get through this? And I think we've hit a wall. And I think we're going to find that wall really quickly. You know what? And because of that, I'm I'm actually bringing out Sam. Okay. I'm going to put him right behind Frodo where he belongs. Now you okay. also have to do a fortitude test. Right this minute? Uh, well, after planning. Okay, I'm done planning. Raising your threat for Frodo? We have to, yep. Okay. Fortitude test. Eowyn. All right. I mean, who gives a shit? Six cards. You know what I mean? Like, we'll never make it. We'll never get more than five. It's not a huge deal. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So I'm not even going to do it. We might need Eowyn for a fortitude test later. Yeah, all right. All right. One... Two, three, four, five, six. So that was a fortitude of eight. Yeah. That so. wasn't happening. Well, I'm glad I didn't exhaust you then. All right. Okay. Hmm. I All think right. we're going to be at the base of the mountain, Mike. Mm-hmm. 22 threat in the middle. Uh, all right. Well, I'm in for 10. That's pretty good. I'm in for 10. I'm in for 10. Um, so we're down two. Cool. My card. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh oh oh no more failing fortitude tests. All right. Two three. And your card is. Okay. That's that's awesome. All right, we lost by seven. All right, I can go one. Two. Pull this back. Three, and we only lose by four. I can waste all of my. Yeah, I think we're done. Uh, we, will, we will never overcome this. No. Okay, so we're down four. Um, we've got one monster coming down. If he goes to you, I can kill Gollum. Sure. But I, I can... can't kill him before you defend, you know what I mean? I can defend them both. Okay. Raise my threat before, because of course. Because it's just how we roll. Okay. Let's defend Gollum. Well, that's my defenses first. Oh, right. Fine. I'll drop my threat by one. Okay, go ahead. Let's see if this is killing me. Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah, that's game. Um, all right, hold on. You guys hitting for four? <laughs> oh, my God. And I lost two heroes. Wow. Okay, so you lost two heroes in a rage. Legolas will kill Gollum. All right. Yeah. So you're down two heroes. So now we need to think about this, Mike. And what we need to think about is what I had said at the beginning. Of this <laughs> is this cast. how it ends? Um, and if it is how it ends, we have to play it out. Oh, my. And that won't be very long. <laughs> All right, we're going to play it out, and then we'll regroup for next time. For next time? Well, let's, we'll talk about it. Okay. We'll see if there, what, what hope there is for us. All right, those of you in the, uh, in the chat, they're saying... Be prepared, be prepared to... Come on to voice at the end of this for just a a quick chat about what could have been different in this one. And then I think, Mike, you were talking about wanting to do a separate show about just the campaign in general, right? Yeah. And having on some guests that have done the campaign and what their thoughts are. Yeah. Okay. At some point. But, yeah. But hopefully in a you know, in a couple minutes we'll get Dennison on, maybe, and uh, John, whoever <laughs> else is in the chat, and just talk about sort of what went wrong. Here. I already have some thoughts about what that was, but all right then. Anyway, uh, it's the end of the round. I'll pull a resource out, and you have Frodo now. I do, and uh, I don't. So I'll raise my threat by two. You'll just raise it by one. Just by one. Just by one. Okay. Actually, by two because you have the warning of healing. Yeah, heal a couple of your characters. <laughs> uh, I don't have much in the way of resources anymore, so I'm putting up uh, the long defeat. Great. <laughs> because yes. Because yes. Although keeping your resources lets us wake up the warden a couple more times, right? But yeah. I understand what you're saying. So we're at 6-8... Uh, eight and nine is seventeen. Twenty. Oh, two, we're not there 20, yet. Twenty-five in the middle right now. Are we raising our threat for Frodo? Um, I don't think we're there yet. Oh no. Um. Oh, you got a bear! Wow. I do have a bear. I'm almost thinking about playing him. 
here at the end of all things. You know what I'm doing? I'm hard casting a bear. Yeah, you are. Because, yeah. How many times can you do the action on the bear? Just once? Oh, uh, yeah, once per face. Bastards. See, there you go again, making me read to the end of a card. <laughs> That's where the bad news happens, Mike. Yeah, usually. Usually. Like, the stuff you don't actually want to hear about your card goes there. Huh, good point. Hmm. Next campaign, we're only going to read the first, I want eight words of any card. Forced, after big Yurik engages you either race. Yeah, I like that. Oh, okay. I say, uh, I'll raise my glass. <laughs> All right. All right, well, I'm glad you are with me, Mike. <laughs> Here at the end of all things. <laughs> One for Frodo. One for Frodo. Okay. So well, as Aragorn would say, for Frodo. Here we are. Well, I'm doing a fortitude test. <laughs> at uh, seven. Yep, at seven. I'm in for four, so we're already down two. I think you might have Three, weirdly. You're very four. close. Uh, that is a tie. So I am pitching Gandalf, because there's no way I'm affording him, to win it by one. Which means this guy does not come down and attack me. And now we can put five progress on. <laughs> More than five progress. Woot! All right. All right, well. Maybe the heroic thing is to not quest. No, I'm running. I'm running. Okay. I mean, for both of us to not quest. Um... Two, four, eight, ten. I'm bringing ten. Uh, I am bringing six. Six, okay. Sixteen to twenty-five. My card is Wicked Master. Gollum makes an immediate attack against the first player. He's not in play. All right, so he's going to attack you. Well, he's going to come into play. Oh, that's right. We killed him. Yeah. Where is that little shit? <laughs> Discard pile? Yeah. There you are, you little maggot. All right. So he shows up. That surges. Surges in, too? <laughs> oh, good. Oh. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have enough of those. Draw into the ring. The first player must choose. Either exhaust the ring. Well, that's you. Okay. Cool. So we uh, we lost by fifteen. Do you have any way of remedying that? Because I don't. Nope. Okay. Not without spirit resources. All right, my 85 threat. How about you? 85. Cool. How'd that work out? All right, well, the ring wraith of Sauron does not come down, so he won't be killing us. But the orc captain will. I'll take him. All right. So, shadow guards. <laughs> All right, Mike, you're the first defense. Uh, Gollum's undefended. Okay. Yep. And the big Uruk is undefended. Mike, do you want me to... Uh, Aragon dives in front. Okay. Okay. He only it gets failed. plus one. No, he didn't. Plus one. Uh, that is a bounce. Mike, reduce your threat. Nice. 84... <laughs> um all right so my bear is going to defend the orc captain plus one six oh he's alive oh wow okay 
Then I will ready the giant bear. He'll defend oh, the other guy. Oh, did you do a fortitude test when you engage this guy? You know I didn't. <laughs> um, so I failed that fortitude test. So it would have been... Eight cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Failed it. Which would then put in an encounter card. Okay. Oh, uh, which means I would get another enemy. Because I cannot exhaust the one ring. So he's actually undefended. Oh! And he makes another attack. Alright, well, he's. Yeah. Okay. So the cards fell in a way they would not have normally. But I think the writing was on the wall regardless. Oh, yeah. I, oh, oh. That was it. Okay, we need not go through the quest <laughs> phase that I'm going to lose by 112. Yeah, indeed. Because, uh, yeah, you'll lose the quest right. phase. I mean, we can do it if you want me to. No, we're good. I'll lose by a lot. You can just say you lost. Actually, the first thing that would happen is the Nazgul would come down and attack you. Yes. Oh, he already did that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So he came down. Let's have it just happen. Uh, oh. Undefended. He hits for... Okay. Have him uh, kill Frodo. <laughs> yeah. He just ate Frodo. Oh, game's over. We lost Frodo. Good thing Legolas survived. <laughs> and uh, true to the books, the Nazgul took the ring from Frodo. And all right. uh, Sauron ruled overall. So, Mike, do you mind if we invite some people in the chat into voice, just to to talk yeah. about this? Yeah, all absolutely. Right. We were, you know, this is the first time we've ever played this, and other people have played it more. I so I kind of knew I I kind of knew it wasn't going to go well since we hadn't seen this quest before. Yeah. So I heard a voice. Who's with us? No one. Oh, I thought I heard something. So yeah, John, Dennison, you guys were in the, there. We okay. go. Hey, John. Hey. hey. John, Hi. that was that was brutal. It's it's incredibly hard. I mean, this is it's the last one of the campaign. Like, I would I would kind of be disappointed if it was easy. <laughs> true. True. Okay, so this, this is the card. Beyond not easy. Uh. <laughs> This is what we should have had in our decks instead of uh, the Frodo's Intuition. Yep. Uh, Fellowship of the Ring is pretty critical. For the oh, why time. didn't we have that? Uh, yeah, it, think it, this quest you know. just takes building a specific deck. You have to build a very specific deck to tailor to this quest. What I didn't realize is that you can change your heroes. Oh yeah, you can change your heroes out You can and your deck out between the Black gate in this one. I don't know how I feel about that because I've taken these heroes through every yeah. single quest. Everyone, everyone. Really? Y'all have taken these same heroes, man. That's impressive. Uh, I've taken Awen through everyone. Awen is a good fit for this one, especially Spirit Awen, because of the willpower boost you can get yeah. when you need it. Ah. But we do uh, need Mike... her to get rid of that Nazgul. Yeah, that's the only problem is you have that Nazgul. And so her 10 attack version is also really good. Yeah. Um, no, this is just a dick punch. <laughs> anyway, Mike, Mike, who else is in chat? Uh, just us for now. Just us. Great. Um, I don't... All right, Mike, what are you feeling about in terms of... Do we say we lost the campaign or we try this again? Well, I... I know how I feel, but I'm curious how you feel. <laughs> I want to finish the campaign. I want. We did. You've come did. this far. No, no, no. I we've come this far. I we would. There's one more. There's one just more. Have to do one more. If I ever wanted to finish the campaign, I'd have to do the whole thing over again. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
Well, I'm okay so if I... we add it to the appendices. I'm okay if this is how we officially went out. But I also want to be able to, at some point, say that I threw the ring in the fire. I understand that. I really do. I totally do. <laughs> so, but I'm tired of this campaign. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm not actually tired of the campaign. I think this is the way to do it. The way that you and I did it, Mike, is the way to play this campaign. And this is this will be something for like the longer form show. I think about the campaign. Yeah. But spread it out. A couple weeks. Don't make it the only game you play. Yep. You know. So I'm not tired of this. It's just sort of like. I, it's my deck, I think, that lost us this quest. So I would definitely, if we redid it, Mike, I would, I would scrap it, and go to some other deck. I don't think it completely did because I had no. I keep Awen. I keep I keep some version of Awen, but like we, I don't know if we even need attack. I, I, well, thank you. we do. You want some Spirit Glorfindel is a really good one for this one because he has attack and willpower. Yeah. Hey, Dennison. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Well, thanks for thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Misery loves company. Yeah. Doesn't it? Doesn't it just? Um, um, I, I was just saying that I think my deck, which is built to defend and kill, just doesn't. I don't know if it makes sense here. Although there seem to be plenty of monsters on the board right now. They have a lot of hit points. And they have yeah, a lot of. They have a lot of defense. I just think you have to do too many things at once here. But we need a deck with Sulian. We need, a de I mean. You need power heroes for this one, like, really. Like, Gandalf and Glorfindel and um, what else? What's another good one for this one? Honestly, Elrond's really good. Like, some healing that's good. You know, like, healing apart from allies. You could do Dunedain Remedies. Um, right. Yeah. Those are really good in this one because it's a healing without an ally. Yeah. And uh, Dennison, what was your takeaway from tonight? I I really think you need the Fellowship of the Ring. Yeah. That's such a clutch card in the this this scenario. It's it's a must include. Yeah, I guess that was an oversight, right, Mike? We didn't even think about it. Yeah, I came in a little too late. So... Oh, you had it in your deck? No, no, no. I I the chat said it. Yeah, oh, I see. Okay. Kind of after the fact. Um, so I'm going to put a couple of those. All three I think we of should both my deck. put a couple of those Okay, up. so cards that I am not putting in. That's sort of, I kind of liked having the Sword Elf and the Mythlon Sea Watcher through me this whole campaign, but that's not going to happen. Uh, Galdor is not coming. I will leave. I do agree. I do agree, Mike, that you should keep your your heroes. I yeah. think Mike's heroes are good. I think Although Sam, Sam started your quest. Maybe bring him back. No, Gildor is too... I don't know. I like it. Do you them. use that card draw enough? I do. Yeah. I'm keeping nine allies. Errand Rider, Gandalf, and Word of Healing. And the Errand Rider is there for Bulwark of the West. That's fair. Because mm. there's that condition attachment. The one that gets rid of attachments on heroes is pretty terrible. You want to get rid of it as soon as you can. Yeah. Have you yeah. all thought about doing the doomed cards? Since you've got such a high threat elimination level? Like... Legacy of Numenor would let you each hero starts with two resources and a really <laughs> big, really big fr front start there. Play a bunch of cards. Yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm like I don't have an expensive deck like that. I'm sorry. What, Denison? Maybe dropping Legolas for Glorfindel and allowing uh, Asphaloth in the other deck because a lot of these locations. Oh yeah, Asphaloth's really good. Oh yeah, could be taken care of that way. Yeah, uh, what's that? We've got a competing light of Valinor then, but yeah. maybe Glorfindel doesn't care about raising your threat by one request. Correct. Uh, yeah. Orc holds because you only have seven turns anyway. All right. Orc holds an issue. We just have to make oh, sure just, we. I mean, you can get one of the rid of one of those in two rounds with Asphalah. No, you can't. Oh, any other locations? That's right. Yeah, any other locations? Oh, I misread that. Mm-hmm. All right, Mike. This quest, this campaign is not over. <laughs> That's the no, story. not by a long shot. Okay, so Asphaloth is now in my deck. Okay, Glorfindel is now in mine. Lots more unexpected. Uh, let me head to Rings DB. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
Isn't there a card that like adds a willpower of a Noldor character to its attack? I don't know what it's called. Yep. It is a. Uh, that's. Oh, I use it all the time. Peril 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 that's Peril it. Yeah, that's it. It's awesome. That would be really good. And Glorfindel is going to have a bunch of will. You can pump up Glorfindel's willpower with just some different attachments and the the Lay of Nimrodel. You know, Strider so, would be really good. Strider's really good in this quest since you don't want to put allies down. You're only going to ever have. Oh, you're you right. Know, you get the plus two willpower. Yes. Yep, you get the plus two yeah. willpower. Uh, Daniel, you should have Strider. Should I bring my Strider deck? No, no. <laughs> just just throw Strider <laughs> in your deck. So, Mike, guess what I just found on RingsDB? What? A deck I made for tonight called The End that I didn't play. No. <laughs> um, I'm looking at it, and nothing would have changed. <laughs> you mean you loaded the wrong deck? I don't want to say the wrong deck. I wrote, Yes, I loaded the wrong deck. <laughs> <laughs> what was the first thing I asked you tonight? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's it's got like four subtle changes, and none of them would have done anything. Yeah, I'm looking at, but I mean, there's two Fellowship of the Ring in it, for example. Oh, <laughs> all right. Okay, you know what? All right, I am actually ditching the Bulwark of the West, ditching the Errand Riders for the Power of Orthanc. Seems good. Frees good up move. some more space. And then I'm going to use the extra deck space to give me extra Miravore and extra Courage Awakened or Hasty Stroke. Probably Courage Ooh. Awakened. Ooh. If you now, if you each put like some unexpected courages in your deck, Mike, you could like put. Oh, I have a lot of those. You could put unexpected courages on all the Mike Mike's heroes that he needs, and then light of Valinor and Glorfindel. Right. Um, so yeah. now with two spirit heroes, that might help a lot more. So I have to like redo really this entire deck. So like, bow hammer is gone. Hands on bow gone. Like straight shot. All that stuff is gone. Like. Uh. Which is if fine. You want, if you want card draw, you could put in the... Um, oh, Hands Upon the Bow was good. You know what I think is Swift, Swift and Strong with A when on her super round is the way to go. Mm. She just needs a weapon. That's the problem. Well, the, the issue there is that we get rid of the Wraith too fast. You can't defend two things. Yeah. Well, Unexpected Courage with Paragon and his shield, maybe, but... I get that your but yeah. Now all my tactics work. money is gone. So say it again, Mike. I get that your your swift strike doesn't work anymore. Hands upon the bow is not necessarily bad to have in there. I don't have a character with ranged. Wait, which characters do you have now? Glorfindel, Eowyn, and Baragond. Oh, okay. Well then, yeah, get rid of it. I mean, I can put a. Isn't there a bow that can go on Glorfindel? Turn him ranged. I think it only worked. I think um, hands upon right, the, the Rivendell bow. bow did. Well, I think hands upon the bow only works with the if you have the printed range, doesn't oh, it? Oh, really? I don't know. Nope. I'd, nope. It with doesn't? range. Okay, nope. good. But still, that's a whole bunch of time ill spent. I think. Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. What was that, Beverly? She was just agreeing with your... Yeah, oh. you got to get Rivendell Bow to get ranged on Glorfindel yeah. and yeah. then have the other thing. That's a lot. Make it work. Got it. Okay. Well, um, we're still on air. We are. Yeah. Are there anything hey. you want to say before I uh, shut that off? <laughs> Since this makes lovely TV. <laughs> it does. It totally does. Um, well, Mike, this kind of ended like I thought it might. Yep. Yep. Totally did. And that is sort of a bummer, but I'm excited. You know what? I'm excited to go back and attack this now that we know what we've got. And, and, you know, like tech against it. Yeah. This is going to be... Might be a little rough, but uh, and again, I don't. I'm not adverse to taking a few hundred mulligans on this one. No, I think that's the right thing to do. Yeah. 
<laughs> just just pick your cards out. You know, who, who who you can just pick what cards you want. I know. You're opening it. <laughs> that you know, I was wondering like why we just hit the mulligan button over and over. It's just like you know what? <laughs> We're starting bring with your, this. <laughs> bring your five. Come on. <laughs> um, okay, well, Mike. Thank you. I'm yeah. glad we did it. Thanks for the game. It's not the, it's not the end of the saga, Mike. No, nope, it's, it's not. <laughs> And uh, thank you everyone for listening. We will catch you next week.